All right, everyone, we begin with the ongoing fallout from the Super Mario Brothers movie trailer, as fans continue to debate the titular plumber's voice, provided by the totally non-controversial Chris Pratt. What is this place? This comes after Pratt claimed that he was working hard to perfect the character's accent, but appears to just sound like himself. Which begs the question, what was he working on exactly? Look, I found all three differences. Those are two completely different pictures. And although longtime video game voice of Mario, Charles Martinet, isn't leading this project, he has been getting lots of love online, thanks in part to a heartfelt post by fellow voice star Tara Strong. It's a me, Mario. Woohoo! Let's go. Okie dokie. Ow, 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 ow. We should also note another criticism fans raise stems from the appearance of Mario's, well, backside, or rather lack thereof. Cue the official Sonic the Hedgehog Twitter account to take a cheeky pot shot at the derriere design. This is what we're gonna do. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. All right, well, here to share his takes is my man, the host of the uh, Watch Mojo music podcast, Intersleeve. It's Cassius Morris. Cassius, we're starting with Mario. Okay, do they need to redo the whole thing like they did with Sonic? Because with an April uh, 2023 release date, they have the time. Honestly, I don't think there's the need to redo this voice for Mario. I do think that with the Sonic example, uh, that was definitely a good example for a redo. But in terms of Mario, I think the visuals are stunning. And in terms of a faux Italian accent from somebody who's not Italian as a voice actor, I'm not sure how well that would go over in 2022. Mushroom Kingdom, here we come! Okay, well moving on from one beloved franchise to another, as Netflix's Adam's Family series Wednesday has finally revealed it's Uncle Fester. Uncle Fester. Yep, a new trailer shows SNL alum Fred Armisen in the role of Wednesday's uncle. Fans and critics alike were quick to voice their approval. This as Armisen steps into the classic shoes, following the likes of Jackie Coogan and Christopher Lloyd. <laughs> what can I say? He's gonna break hearts. All right, this show's actually got a stacked cast. You got Catherine Zeta-Jones in here, uh, Christina Ricci, who also played Wednesday in the old Addams Family movies. But now the question is, with Fred Armisen as this kooky Uncle Fester, does his casting stack up with the uh, classic role, Cassius? I think it looks great. You know, first impressions on this casting, he definitely has the modernized look of that Uncle Fester. Of course, the head is nice and shiny bald, as it should be. Uh, at the end of the day, you know, I think the casting is good. Okay, Cassius, I want to stick with Netflix because some family members of serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer's victims are condemning the White Hot miniseries. I'll just try and say I'm sorry. She gonna open your gift? Producers of the uber popular show, which depicts Dahmer's murders and how he got away with his killing spree for so long, are facing a growing chorus of criticism for not consulting with the victim's families. Not even once. This man tried to kill me. You're saying there's nothing you can do about that? Yes. I called you for what? And while Netflix wasn't required to consult with the families, they are being accused of re-traumatizing them. Add in a healthy dose of creative license, and some are calling the results harsh and cruel. I know, but nobody heard me. All right, Cassius, what says you? Are you watching the show, and is that criticism fair? I actually am watching the show, Matt, and I'm close to finish the series, and I do have to say, the one positive thing I will say about the series as it progresses is that it seems to be mostly focused from the victims' perspectives, and that's one thing that I really appreciate about this show. I think it's important that we tell these stories in order to raise awareness about maybe people who don't have a voice and make sure this never, ever happens again. Okay, well, moving on to musical icon Madonna. Did the 64-year-old Queen of Pop come out as gay in a TikTok video? The answer is apparently yes. Now, the Material Girl didn't leave any other comments on the video, and at the time of this recording has yet to follow up with any other post or message. Oh yeah, you get in good trouble. 
good trouble. Yeah, mm -hmm. you really do. Uh, no, 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 why would you? Madonna? Madonna? Cassius, what do you make of this? Are you surprised by this late in life revelation that apparently that we got on TikTok? You know, Matt, when it comes to Madonna, surprise is not really a word that's in my vocabulary when it comes to her. I mean, I think she's always shocking us, and that's really what she does best. You know, at the end of the day, if she decided to come out, I say congratulations to her. I, I wish her all the best with her new revelation. And uh, definitely, I think it's also a good press move because, you know, Madonna, we've seen her with men through the years. We've also seen her with women. Uh, so, you know, maybe this is just to keep the ambiguity going, Matt, and uh, maybe for the best when it comes to press. Okay, well, speaking of revelations, the smash hit Prime video series The Boys has revealed some new girls who will be boarding the show's fourth season. We're all we've got. It's up to us. I think I have something. Amazon unveiled official photos of two brand spanking new soups, Susan Hayward as Sister Sage and Valerie Curry as Firecracker. People love superpowers. But real power isn't this. It's the ability to bend the world to your will. Little is known at this time about their powers or allegiances, but showrunner Eric Kripke teases that these new soups will be some of the craziest ever, and that's saying something. <laughs> All right. All right, Cassius, when it comes to the boys, we got season four on the horizon. What or who are you looking forward to? Well, I definitely know that the new characters look very interesting, Matt. When it comes to new soups, definitely uh, Sister Sage is going to be cool. I like the design of her costume. It kind of reminds me of... Uh, Almost like some designer clothes you'd see at the Met Gala. And then when it comes to Firecracker, you know, definitely going with that classic cartoon sort of comic book look. It reminds me of like a, maybe if there was a female Captain America. That's sort of the vibe I get from this. And last for us in this week's Hollywood headlines is some exciting movie news coming out of the fan favorite horror production company, Blumhouse. It was announced that the long gestating Spawn reboot film will be getting some new creative forces. Namely, Joker screenwriter Scott Silver, The Falcon and the Winter Soldiers, Malcolm Spellman, and rising writer Matt Mixon. Oh, and uh, Jamie Foxx is still set to star as the titular Hell Spawn. You sent me to hell, Jason. I'm here to return the favor. <laughs> Plus, the movie adaptation of the fan favorite video game series Five Nights at Freddy's is moving forward with director Emma Tammy. But perhaps most exciting is the fact that it's actually going into production in early 2023. All right, Cassius, can the Blumhouse uh, production company give us uh, a Five Nights at Freddy's movie, can they do it justice and spawn? Will we ever see it at this point? I know the Spawn movie has been in discussion for so, so many years, and it's kind of like the fabled, you know, solo albums from certain artists that they talk about for decades. I don't know if this is going to come out, but I definitely hope so. In terms of the Five Nights movie, uh, I definitely hope that they can pull this off as well. Apparently, this has been one of the highest requested movies for the company. And I think, you know, definitely a cult classic in, in its own right, you know, to say the least. So definitely, I would like to see both of these movies come to fruition. Hey, Cassius, I can't thank you enough for helping me break this all down today. My pleasure. <laughs>